All right, I'm here with Kyle, and Kyle has brought in his buddy's computer, which uh, is total mess, and it uh, it needs um, some serious fire scanning. We've already scanned it a few times, and it's just it's just wreaking havoc. So we're gonna plug it in one more time. I've got we have the hard drive out of the laptop. We've plugged it into a USB to SATA or an USB to IDE PETA um, connector. It's an accessory you can get from Newegg. And so we've made this hard drive an external drive by connecting it to this USB tool. So we're going to plug it in the USB here, and we're going to check it out, all right? And we'll see here. It should come up shortly, hopefully. I'm going to, I'm going to refresh the window here. And there it is, uh, local, drive, local disk F, right? And what we're going to do is we'll take a look at it. This thing's got viruses in it. All right, we open it up here. We deleted, first of all, a bunch of viruses just from this, from... Uh, this just first uh, basically his C drive, which right now is showing up as my F drive. But let's go check it out. Let's go into program files and look for um, viruses that are in the programs. Uh, what are you pointing to here, Kyle? Uh, that one was this one looks pretty bad right here. HYPNRPM. Let's open that sucker up. Uh, I have no idea what that is. Boom. Right? So instantly AVG sees the threat. And I can click here, remove threat as power user, and click move to vault. And hopefully that'll be gone. Okay, I'll have to approve that. And that's now gone. But not only that, I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to highlight this and do a shift delete. Hold down the shift key and delete that permanently. And click OK. All right, so that's gone. And um, how about some of these other ones here? What's that? J-A-L-M-P. Let's open it up. Uh, boom. There's another one. Okay. Uh, move to vault. Click yes. Continue. And that should be gone now. And of course I'm going to also shift delete that. So you can see that even though we've run virus tools already on this drive, it didn't get rid of these Trojans that are just sitting in these folders in the program files, right? And so there's more in here, by the way, like, um, let's see here, uh, inet get to, look at that. This doesn't look, gimme smiley b dot exe, I don't know what that is. Once again, th there it is. Uh, you know, once again, this is not my, um, uh, this is not my hard drive, I'm just, having fun trying to clean it up a little bit. Um, okay. So there it is. You see the blue symbols which show you that it's been healed. Um, and of course we're going to need to then delete that. Shift delete. Let's get rid of that. Notice uh, the IMG thin folder is back now. So we'll just delete that too. So that actually returns somehow. I've got my um, internet connection off. I've turned off my wireless uh, connection so that some of these programs, these Trojans, can't download um, another versions. But in, before we uh, finish deleting all those, let's check out something else, like the Documents and Settings folder. If we go in here, you'll see that there's hidden files here. We've got our hidden files available. If you go to Tool, Folder Options, and you go to view, you want to show your hidden files and folders, and you also want to um, show your system files. So I've unchecked hide protected operating system files. So I uncheck this one, and then I check this one, show hidden files and folders. Now I've got this um, uh, local service and default user and network service that I can look at. Also all users, and you'll see here application data. Notice it's a hidden folder. Not sure about this. That looks okay. Now some of this stuff might might have already been removed. And I can try to get access to this folder to see what's inside of it. Since I'm running Windows Vista and this machine's probably an XP machine, I'm able to get access to it if with administrative privileges. Um, the other thing that I can do is I can take, I'm going to run super anti-spyware on this machine, so I'll hit scan your computer. It's in the F drive. I'll turn off the C drive and I'll start running a complete system scan using uh, super anti-spyware. I'll minimize that, so that's running in the background. 
hopefully it won't crash the system um, running this video recording this video capture and running uh, a virus scan so once again we're in here now we've got access user data you can see here that um, some of these temp folders could have data hiding in them um, local settings uh, temporary internet files, application data. Once again, uh, this uh, Rio f folder. It's a music manager. It's probably a, no problem. Um, just double checking through some of these files, trying to see if we can find anything that might be suspicious that might need to be removed. Okay. Application data. All of these look fairly legitimate here. So chances are, oh no, e-acceleration. There you go. That is a, that's bad news right there, right? Let's open it up. Antivirus. Of course, it's probably not really an antivirus program. This e-acceleration was already caught earlier as a um, virus, and now it's just sitting there as a remnant. But I'm going to delete it. Never heard of it. But um, anyway, we're doing much better. We can look on our scan here. We're still scanning um, my computer's memory and my computer's registry before we even scan the files there. I thought that this might be a good way for to show you how you can start um, attaching your hard drive as an external drive and start searching through it to find um, the remnants of uh, viruses and trojans and things like that. This PC doctor for Windows. this outstall outstall yeah that there you go good good call Kyle all right we'll move that to the vault okay we're gonna try to do a malware bytes scan on this hard drive too for fun just to see what what it's got going on here um, let's see here scan and we're gonna scan the F drive and we'll hit scan so here's a malware bytes scan of the F drive and, and uh, we'll see what happens here. Uh, maybe it'll find some stuff. Uh, it's not responding right now. There it goes. Should we take another look at the drive? We'll take another look at this drive. This evil drive. Full of bad stuff. Um, let's take a look at this this virus tool and see if it's found anything yet. Um, on this one hard drive, we probably found over 200 uh, Trojans and viruses that we removed. A lot of it we had to remove by hand by just looking through the hard drive and finding stuff uh, to remove. Okay, as Malwarebytes is running the scan, you can see it running here in the background, right? There's Malwarebytes running in the background right here. It hasn't found anything. But as it's scanning over the drive, you can see that AVG has pulled up a whole bunch of um, viruses and trojans that it's finding. And you can see it cu it's curious where it's finding these. Look at this. Adware, Trojan horse, uh, Trojan horse, Adware virus, um, all kinds of stuff in this hard drive. And notice where it's coming from. Documents and settings, the hard drive, all right? This, we've turned it into an external hard drive. Uh, it's in the d documents and setting folder, in the owner folder, local settings, temp directory. All right, all of these are coming out of the temp directory. These are all things that you're going to have to delete. Um, now, a program like CCleaner, uh, which is a registry cleaner and temporary files uh, folder cleaner, would have cleaned all of this for me if I had run CCleaner. But now it's finding them all. So I need to get rid of them. So I'm going to remove the threat as a power, power user. But before I do that, I'm going to go to Malwarebytes and because I, I don't want to um, crash my system here I'm going to pause the scan right pause that scan and then remove all unhealed infections and hopefully this won't crash the system and I'm going to force the removal and you can see here that A lot of these have now been cleaned. You can see here the the icon on the left has turned to blue and they've all been removed.